In this report, I answer the question, is Mexico, the Philippines, or the Dominican Republic better for budget retirees? I left the USA in 2007. I've been to 65 countries so far. During that time, I've, had, I've spent considerable time in Mexico, the Philippines, and the Dominican Republic. In fact, I have full reports on several cities in all three of these countries. So make sure to get a, a, my free ebook to learn more about that. Um, there'll be a link below this video for that. I'll show you videos I took of all three countries as I compare the three countries for the cost of living, dating, uh, visa requirements, food, cultural exploration, safety, and health care. But don't take notes as you listen. I will give you a link to everything I discuss at the end of this video. Make sure to stay until the end. At the end, I'll rank the three countries, one, two, and three, and I'll tell you my favorite three places in all three countries, so nine places. Okay, I'm going to talk about which is better for dating first, but I want to answer a question some of you are thinking right now. Why am I only comparing Mexico, the Philippines, and the Dominican Republic this time? I'm very responsive to my viewers and I've received multiple requests for this comparison, but I'll include a link below to my report on the top 15 places in the entire world to retire early for cheap in 2021, in case you want a broader comparison from my research. Okay, dating. First, I'll discuss age difference relationships and then same age relationships. If you're a single man approaching retirement and you are looking for a woman 10 to 20, maybe even 30 years younger than you, the Philippines is your first choice. The Dominican Republic comes in second for the older man, younger woman relationships, and Mexico would be your last choice. If you're a single woman approaching retirement and you're looking for the younger man, the Dominican Republic will be your first choice. The Philippines would be your second choice, and Mexico would come in third for older women, younger men. For men and women looking to date someone about the same age as themselves, Mexico wins over the Philippines or the Dominican Republic. There's just a larger, more diverse set of people to choose from with varied socioeconomic backgrounds at all education and income levels. Uh, because of this diversity with large numbers, you're more likely to find someone uh, your age that ticks a bunch of boxes for you in Mexico. But you'll just not see as many age difference relationships around Mexico. So your best place of the three for dating just depends on what you're looking for. For more information on this topic, read my report, Best Countries to Find Love in Re Retirement. I'll provide a link to that too. Uh, healthcare. In terms of healthcare, I would rank Mexico first, Philippines second, and the Dominican Republic third. But I decided to look for some evidence to support my position. There are various rankings around the world for healthcare, but after viewing a few of them, uh, I'll use this source to uh, link provided to support my view. This source is more accurate because it includes the top countries in Asia, which some sources do not properly consider. It ranks Mexico 29th, Philippines 38th, and the Dominican Republic is 72nd uh, in terms of healthcare. Many retirees, uh, expats, have free or almost free healthcare in their home country and return home for any treatment except for in emergencies. But do think about what you would do in an emergency if you couldn't fly home because you needed to, to be treated immediately. If you want more of my thoughts on that, read my report, The Two Biggest Risks of Retiring Cheap Overseas. I'll provide a link for that too. Food. In terms of international selection and diversity, Mexico wins the food contest handily. Honestly, it's not really fair to compare a country the size of Mexico with a gross domestic product of one point trillion uh, with the Philippines or the Dominican Republic, which are both an order of magnitude smaller. Mexico City, in fact, has some of the best restaurants in North America, easily outpacing the Philippines 
and the Dominican Republic for food choices. Plus, Mexico has a large and mature tourism industry that's able to attract some of the better chefs from Europe and other parts of the world that come and open restaurants in places like Cancun, Playa del Carmen, Mexico City, and along the Pacific coast of Mexico also. Neither the Philippines nor the Dominican Republic are known for their international food choices. But this report is about uh, better of the three for budget retirees. Mexico also wins in that category. Mexico not only has expensive high-end restaurants, but even, uh, even in larger cities, it has very cheap and delicious food that caters to lower income levels. One of the best things to do in Mexico is to explore all the cheap family-owned taco stands. They are cheap and delicious. Uh, the Philippines has cheap food carts and family-owned restaurants, but the food is not as delicious or as diverse as you'll find in Mexico. The, the Dominican Republic does not have as many cheap food choices as you will see in the Philippines or Mexico. So with respect to food for budget retirees, Mexico is first, the Philippines is second, and the Dominican Republic is third. If you want to watch us eat the types of food that a few dollars will buy all over the world, then you should subscribe to this YouTube channel, 67 countries so far. Cost of living. With respect to cost of living for budget retirees, all three countries have lower cost of living in smaller towns in more remote areas. All three also have higher cost of living in larger cities and more touristy areas. But overall, the Philippines comes in first place for living cheap uh, for budget-minded retirees. Chung uh, was able to live in Dumaguete in the Philippines on $673 for a month when I was uh, in the US. I'll provide a link to that. You can watch her video on that. For two people, Chung and I more typically spend around $1,100 to $1,400 per month during our time in the Philippines. We are able to stay in that cost of living range in multiple cities in the Philippines. We have also met many expats that were easily able to stay under $1,000 US per month living in the Philippines, some even under $700 and a couple under $500 per month. Um, Mexico would be second place with, with respect to cost of living. We're also able to comfortably stay in several places in Mexico in the range of 1,000 to 1,400 per month. But the accommodations in that range were generally not as nice as you could find living in the Philippines. It's also possible to live in the Dominican Republic for about 1,000 per month, but the neighborhoods that we could stay in for that amount just didn't feel that safe to us. So in, in, in order, for budget retirees, for low cost of living and a very nice environment, Philippines are first, Mexico is second, and the Dominican Republic is third. Okay, what about cultural exploration? Mexico easily wins for cultural exploration. The center part of Mexico in the highlands is full of colonial era cities with European architecture that dates back to the 15th and the 16th centuries. There are museums, parks, live music, symphony, theater, and everything else you can find in the most culturally rich countries around the world. Plus, there are archaeological sites from the, from the 62 Indian tribes throughout Mexico that you can investigate along with their clothing and crafts and whatnot. Mexi Mexico is one of the most culturally rich countries in the world. The Dominican Republic comes in second for cultural exploration. Santo Domingo was where the first European city was built in the Americas. You can see the first homes built by Cortez and Columbus there. The Philippines comes in third. It is true that there are indigenous populations, but they are not as accessible to visitors because they are in remote locations and have not been exploited by tourism. So Mexico is first, Dominican Republic is second, and the Philippines is third for cultural exploration. Safety. The Philippines was the safest of the three according to this source link provided. Mexico was second and the Dominican Republic was third in terms of safety of the three. That actually corresponds with my feelings also. But I've always considered safety at the neighborhood level as being more accurate. 
For example, if you stay away from the border towns in Mexico and the areas where the cartels are fighting turf wars and you stay away from drugs, then Mexico is probably as safe as the Philippines, in my opinion. Similarly, the Dominican Republic felt safer in some areas than others. We were uncomfortable in Santo Domingo, but felt very comfortable in Las Terrenas in the Dominican Republic. For more on this topic, check out my report, How to Travel the World Safely, link provided. What about visas? The Philippines wins the visa contest. Citizens of many countries can fly into the Philippines and just keep renewing their tourist visa for up to 36 months without doing any visa runs. They could just stay in the country the whole time. Mexico comes in second. As Americans, we can fly into Mexico without a visa and we are awarded a six month tourist stamp. So we just need to do a visa run every six months back to America or any other country nearby in order to get a new six month tour stamp. The Dominican Republic comes in third for visas. They give many countries 30 days upon arrival and then offer a complicated extension plan that almost nobody bothers with because it requires documents and whatnot. Instead, people just stay as long as they want and they pay a penalty of about $100 per year for overstay. So if they stay five years, it's like 500. Many people love the visa system for this reason in the Dominican Republic because they don't have to worry about going to immigration until they leave the country. But I wasn't comfortable with that. I never want to overstay my tourist stamp. I fear that someday my overstay could end up in some kind of international database and then other countries may decide not to let me enter because I overstayed in the Dominican Republic. So for budget retirees, the visa program in the Philippines is first, Mexico is second, and the Dominican Republic is third. In case you're wondering about retiree visas, I come and click and watch my uh, video about uh, why you should wait to get your retiree visa. I think you'll enjoy that and it's important for you to understand after uh, 67 countries why I think that's the case. So in conclusion, I promised if you stayed until the end I would rank these three uh, countries overall. Well, here it goes. Mexico is number one for me, the Philippines is number two, and Dominican Republic is number three with respect to just these three countries. I also promised to rank my top cities to retire cheap in each of these three countries. So here we go with that. For Mexico, Puerto Morelos is first, Querétaro is second, and Oaxaca is third. For the Philippines, Dumaguete is first, Siquijo is second, and Camagan Island is third. There's links to all of those here if you don't know how to spell them. For the Dominican Republic, Las Trenas is first, Cabarete is second, and Puerto Plata is third. Remember, this is just a ranking for these three countries. For a full understanding of the best places in the entire world, that, according to me, in my opinion, read this report. Best places in the entire world to retire early for cheap in 2021. Link provided. For notes uh, for this video that I promised, uh, with clickable links to various resources I discuss, just click the more information link in the notes below this YouTube video. This is Dan of Vagabond Awake, the YouTube channel for VagabondBuddha.com. The world is your home. What time will you be home for dinner? Hey, if you liked our video, please like, comment, or subscribe. Any of that would help our business. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Click the link in the notes below this video to get a copy of this content. Plus, grab a free copy of my ebook, How I Fired My Boss and Traveled the World for 13 Years. While you're there, check out our catalog of retired cheap reports all over the world and our hobby income course that we just released. Thanks so much.